Let's say you see this kind of a simple question in your chemistry jam exam. How will you solve it? It is very simple. Let us solve it together. The question says a hydrocarbon X has a molar mass of 26 and a carbon atom percentage of 92.3%. What is the molecular formula? So what we are looking for in this particular question is the molecular formula, right? And if you check the question very well, you'll be able to deduce that this particular compound is an hydrocarbon, right? That tells us that this compound contains only carbon and hydrogen, right? From the name, hydrocarbon. It contains only carbon and hydrogen. So to get the molecular formula of this particular compound, first, we need to get our empirical formula, right? Because there is, there is a formula that connects the empirical formula and the molecular formula. So to get the empirical formula, this is what we need to do. We need to write the percentage composition of each of these elements in the compound, right? If we are given the percentage composition of carbon to be 92.3, so let us write that 92.3%, right? So if we are given that carbon is 92.3%, what is supposed to be the percentage of hydrogen? Correct. That will be 100 minus 92.3%. Automatically, because we know that hydrocarbon only contains carbon and hydrogen, right? So if you subtract 92.3% from 100, you should have something like 7.7 percent right so that is the percentage of hydrogen in this particular compound so the next thing after knowing the percentage of hydrogen is to divide by the atomic masses of each of the elements what is the atomic mass of carbon we all know that the atomic mass of carbon is 12 right 12 grams per mole the atomic mass of hydrogen is one right that is one so you divide it 92.7 or 92.3 percent divided by 12 what will you get i think that should give us 7.69 yes and then 7.7 .7 divided by 1 what would that give us that will give us the same thing 7.7 .7, right 7.7 .7. so after you do this the next thing is to divide by the lowest value right what is the lowest value here the lowest value is actually 7.79 7.69 rather 7.69 so you divide both sides by 7.69 right 7.69 divided by 7.69 that will give you one right also 7.7 .7 divided by 7.69 that will give you 1.0 something but it's still the same thing as one right if you approximate it because you need to approximate because you need an absolute value right so you understand now so carbon from this place we have carbon right so now from our answer we only have one carbon atom right so carbon and hydrogen how many hydrogen atoms do we have one also so ch right so this is the empirical formula of this particular compound now and don't forget we still want to get our molecular formula right you know i told you guys that there is a formula that connects the molecular formula and the empirical formula together so i'll be writing that formula now if you have been looking for an app to practice for your jam exam in order to pass your jam exam the class 54 app is the best app to use the class 54 app is the best app to use the class 54 app is an app you can use to practice for your jam exam work exam and network exam in order to get a very high score so let us continue right so the formula is empirical formula or you can say empirical formula mass right empirical formula empirical formula then close the bracket n is equal to molecular formula or you can say molecular formula mass right molecular formula mass you understand so in the question don't forget that we are given the molecular mass to be 26 right we are giving the molecular mass to be 26 so we can replace that as molecular formula mass and we just calculate our all our empirical formula mass as well you know our empirical formula is ch so we just calculate the mass right so now ch we can write ch then close bracket n equals to what what is our molecular formula mass 26 as given here 26 so we need to get our empirical formula mass as well what is the atomic mass of carbon 12 right so 12 plus atomic mass of hydrogen is what one one right then n is equal to 26 right so 12 plus one is what 13 so times n we have 13 n is equal to 26 so if we divide both sides by 13 divide both sides by 13 then we'll have our n to be what 26 divided by 13 is what two so our n is going to be equal to what two right our n is going to be equal to two so to get our molecular formula what we just have to do is just to replace our n with two in this particular equation remember we want to get our molecular formula so we just replace our n with two right so now empirical formula we know empirical formula to be what we got ch right 
CH. Close brackets, then N is equal to our molecular formula. We don't write MF, right? So now our molecular formula, which is MF, is going to be what? Our CH, then N. CH, then what's our N that we got? We got 2 as N, right? So 2. So 2 times the subscript here. The subscript here is 1, right? Subscript here is also 1. So 2 times 1 is 2. So we have something like C2. Then 2 times 1 also here, the subscript is going to give you 2. So we have C2, H2. And C2H2 is our molecular formula, right? So C2H2 is what? A time. It is a gas. And it is the first member of the alkyne series. So I hope this is very simple to understand. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.